Tom Brady is hated by many, many people. And uh, honestly, I, I don't get it. I don't understand. People look at Tom Brady. They see a rich guy with a supermodel wife, extremely successful. He's won six Super Bowls. And uh, they look at Tom Brady and they hate Tom Brady. They look at Tom Brady and go, ugh, the worst. I look at Tom Brady and I see someone inspirational. He inspires me. I love Tom Brady. I'm a big fan of Tom Brady. And uh, before, by the way, before we go way too far down the rabbit hole, I'm, gonna, I'm a nerd. I'm, I'm weird about all this stuff. I do want to say I'm going to talk about the cheating scandals. I'm going to talk about Deflategate, all of that. Um, all I ask is please save your comments about it. Save your crap about Deflategate until after I've mentioned it. Like, you can say you still don't agree with me. But please just at least wait until I address it to write really angry comments about it. That's, that's all I ask from you guys, please. Um, I, I do want to start with this, though. Uh, traditionally in America... We love underdogs. We love someone who's overcome a ton of adversity. And people conveniently forget Tom Brady is the ultimate underdog. For whatever reason, I know it's, we're six Super Bowls in, but nobody seems to remember who Tom Brady was before he was, quote, Tom Brady. And uh, I, I think here's what's most funny to me. You got to mention this. Basically, everybody loves Peyton Manning. And yet we hate Tom Brady. And it makes... No sense. It, I don't understand it. You look at history, and if you look at where Peyton Manning came from, his dad was an NFL quarterback. He came from a really rich family. He was a quarterback who started as a freshman at Tennessee at an SEC school, and then he became a number one overall pick. Some of them were earned. Some of them were handed to him, but Peyton Manning had a lot of advantages, advantages that Tom Brady never had. Now, credit Peyton Manning. He took advantage of them. He, he really used the things he was given and he had a great career. He won two Super Bowls. Peyton Manning had a legendary NFL career. But Tom Brady did not have the same advantages that Peyton Manning had. He was just a guy. He was just a normal guy from San Mateo, California. In fact, he wasn't even the full-time starter his senior year in college at Michigan. All the advantages that Peyton Manning had, a guy we love, Tom Brady had none of those. People either forget or simply don't know the history of it. Tom Brady was a joke coming into the NFL. Nobody believed in Tom Brady. He was slow. They made fun of his footwork and said he couldn't jump, said he couldn't run. He was a sixth-round draft pick at the end of the draft, an afterthought. Nobody wanted him. Didn't have a rich dad who played in the NFL. My point is Peyton Manning was given a lot of advantages. Had a great career. Well done. Fantastic. Tom Brady had none of those advantages, and he won up to Peyton Manning. He was better than Peyton Manning. He's won six Super Bowls. He's still playing. Peyton Manning's out of the league. He's done. And it's, it's weird to me how we love an underdog up to a point. But once the underdog starts succeeding too much, it's like we forget about the underdog and no, no, matter, no longer care. And, and maybe that's the best compliment to Tom Brady is that he's won so much we all forget where he came from. The guy came from nothing. That's what's weird to me. The guy was a backup. Tom Brady was buried on the depth chart. He was a fourth-string NFL quarterback. Then he committed his entire life to football and became the Tom Brady we know today. And it's, it's, a lot of people think they work hard. A lot of people think they work extremely hard. But I want to ask you, have you ever done one thing for your entire day, every single day of your life? I know I haven't. I've done, I've done a lot of work. I've never done what Tom Brady does. It's amazing. It's so weird to me we don't look to Tom Brady as an inspirational figure. We look to Tom Brady as someone to hate. And I just don't understand it. He's the best in his field. He's extremely, extremely successful. Look, I'm not. But if, if I could be, oh, I would love to be the Tom Brady of sports broadcasting. Hell yeah, that'd be awesome. That'd be the, you want to be the best in your field. Isn't that the goal? Isn't that what we all want? If you're selling car insurance, you're a real estate agent, you're a doctor, you're an engineer, you're an analyst. Don't we all look up to the people who are the best in our field? Maybe we don't. Maybe, maybe you don't want to be the best in your field. I, I would love to be the best in my field. I don't know. Maybe you hate your job and you're jealous of the fact that Tom Brady loves his job. He loves what he does every single day. But the only reason to hate Tom Brady is because you're jealous of him. This is what I don't understand. Tom Brady's been so successful. Again, 
rich, seems to like his wife, been incredibly successful, won six Super Bowls. Isn't that what everybody wants? I just don't understand the jealousy or the hatred. He's an example of an underdog, a guy who came from nothing. Let's repeat again. He did it so well, we all forgot Tom Brady was ever an underdog. He entered the NFL draft, six-round draft pick. Nobody wanted him. Nobody believes in him. Nobody believed in Tom Brady going into the NFL. Have you ever, you ever felt that way? Like nobody believes in you? That's what I find cool. It's a guy who overcame that and not only overcame it and succeeded a little bit, he became the greatest of all time. I think that's cool. I, I, I don't hate Tom Brady. I think he's an inspirational figure. I don't understand why more people don't see him that way. Um, if nothing else, you got to be impressed. Like what kind of person wakes up after you've won four Super Bowls. You have won four, more than almost anybody ever. After winning four Super Bowls, what person wakes up in the morning and goes, I want more. I want to keep getting more. Years and years and years, all day of dedication, and people don't seem to understand how much time it takes. Nobody seems to appreciate the guy. Um, I don't know. Some people don't hate Tom Brady because of the fact he wins all the time. Some people call Tom Brady a cheater. We'll address this. I think it's important. Uh, they're referencing deflate gate. What happened was the Patriots and Tom Brady got in trouble for using slightly underinflated footballs. I mean, like a tiny amount, a few PSI. You could squish the ball just a little bit when you grabbed it. And in the 2016 NFL season, Tom Brady was suspended for the first four games of the year. Now, the NFL never proved that he knew about it. They just, they, they fined him, they penalized him. But what we do know is that Tom Brady destroyed his cell phone, so he tried to hide evidence. And look, I don't know. Um, <laughs> I played quarterback my entire life. I, I, I know this. If the balls were underinflated, he knew it, right? He knew about it. There's no way he didn't know about it. But also, after playing football my entire life, I know that's not that much of an advantage. We, we're acting like a few PSI is this great advantage, and that's why Tom Brady won a bunch of Super Bowls. He's a cheater. He, he took an advantage that other people didn't have. It's not that big a deal. It was never that big a deal. It's really what it is more is, is slightly comfortable. It's, it's a little bit of comfort rather than a true tactical advantage. I don't know. I, people, some, a lot of people did tests. A lot of YouTubers did stuff like this, and they said, well, a, a underinflated football is easier to throw. It's easier to catch an underinflated football. I actually disagree. Um, I, personally, like we throw at the football field, and I will admit most quarterbacks I throw with like the ball slightly underinflated. I like the full thing all the way pumped up. I think it spins off your hand a little better that way. Uh, but, but look, here's the point. If you want to call Tom Brady a cheater, go ahead. It's fine. It's a free country. Do whatever you want. I think it's silly. You know, un if you're mad about underinflated footballs, you realize a, a ball with a few less PSI doesn't read the defense. He doesn't throw the ball to the right spot. He doesn't have accuracy. I don't know. An underinflated football is not the guy, the brain, operating Tom Brady's arm. So if you hate Tom Brady for a couple underinflated footballs, I think you miss the point. You miss out on a wonderfully inspirational model of success to me. Um, I, it seems like a lot of people are jealous. It seems like Deflategate gives them something legitimate to hang on to and be really angry about. But uh, I, I will say Deflategate never changed the outcome of games. Deflategate was not a big enough of a, a deal to impact the outcome, the final score of football games. Like, I, I bring this all up. I'm not trying to convince anybody. I just, I, I, I went home this weekend and a lot of people were like, you like Tom Brady? And there were, there, a lot of people hate him, apparently. And I just don't understand. I don't understand why everybody hates the guy. You know, a lot of people say, well, Peyton Manning is relatable and Tom Brady's not relatable. They see Peyton Manning in all state commercials or doing, you know, Papa, Murphy, Papa Murphy's pizza commercials. And a guy in a commercial is never relatable to me. He's an actor. And if you really learn the story of who Tom Brady is, he's not only the ultimate underdog. He's one of the most relatable athletes of all time because he's a guy who came from nothing, who nobody believed him and nobody wanted him. Again, I repeat, haven't you ever felt that way? How can you not relate to that? That guy that nobody believed him turned himself into the best ever, ever. That to me, Peyton Manning was a number one overall pick with a rich dad who played in the NFL. Tom Brady overcame the odds and built himself into 
the greatest football player of all time. If not, at least the at least you can admit the greatest quarterback of all time. And I find that incredibly inspiring. I think that's incredible. So hate him if you want. I fundamentally do not understand why someone would hate Tom Brady rather than choose to look at him as an example of success and try to model your life after the way he's carried himself. I think it's really cool. I think Tom Brady's inspirational. I will say, you know, what I, another thing I like about Tom Brady, he doesn't try to be relatable. He doesn't try to be likable. He just does his thing. What Tom Brady loves is winning football games. And that, that's cool to me. He just does what he loves. And look, there's nothing wrong with being a fan of Peyton Manning. If you like Peyton Manning, that's amazing. I, I loved Peyton Manning growing up. I had a poster of Peyton Manning on the wall. He had like three movements, and that's how I learned how to throw a football, was watching Peyton Manning on my poster, putting it together. Oh, split, check, flick the finger off your nose, like, or off your, the booger off your finger. That's literally what the poster said. I learned how to throw a football because of, Tom, of Peyton Manning. But it's weird to me to love Peyton Manning, who's not the best, and who had a bunch of advantages Tom Brady didn't. It's weird to me to love Peyton Manning, but I hate Tom Brady. That's jealousy. And, and that's something I, I don't understand why anyone is jealous of a professional athlete who you're never going to compete against in your entire life. I don't get it. Um, I think it's very weird people hate Tom Brady. My name is Zach Schaumler. This is my podcast, Strong Opinion Sports. It is my favorite thing in the entire world. And I, I want to I ask for your help. I want this show to grow. I want more people to watch and more people to listen to this podcast. My dream is to do this show as my full-time job. I want to own it myself. I want to do it on the internet and have complete control. I don't want to do it for CBS or ESPN. I don't want to work for a big network. I want to own it myself. And if you believe in that dream, please do me a huge favor. Help me grow by telling your friends about this podcast. Share it on Facebook. Share a link on Twitter. Maybe you screenshot it. Put it on Instagram. I, I, I don't have a marketing strategy beyond this. This is all I have. You know, a lot of people, one of the most common comments I get on YouTube is, you have great content. We love your stuff. You deserve more viewers. What you should do is you should buy ad spaces on Facebook or Twitter or promote yourself and buy, buy revenue, like buy ads. I have no money. I am a broke college kid. I, I can't buy ad spaces. I, I, don't have, I don't have money to pay for books. And so my plan, this is my marketing plan. This is my strategy. All I plan to do is put every ounce of effort I have into making the very best podcast I can. I believe if I make a great product that people believe in, that people like, then they will share it with their friends. And so if you agree with that, if you believe in the show, if you like what I do, please do me a huge favor. Tell your friends about it. Help me grow by telling your friends about the show. I'm done. I feel like I use car sales and it feels gross. Uh, I, just, I just try to be honest with you guys. And as always, please, if you believe in what I do, help me grow by telling your friends about this podcast.